Sir, let us change the world. No? Let us change the world. Or we'll break your legs. Roscoe, no. You can't do... Nobody's going to listen to us. Nicer, happier. Yeah, there you go. Let us change the world. Or I'll break your legs. <laughs> Go Green Society of Tomorrow called Let Us Change the World. See, it's a, it's a head of lettuce around the world, like a green, like recycling now. Um, and our slogan, the radical Go Green awareness group that is always one step ahead. <laughs> that's, um, it's not sexual. Um, we didn't, never mind. What we need in the community is Jane. Roscoe is just as passionate as I am. He um he just has a bit of a different approach. See Curtis got that same ambition about going green just like me, right? But you don't know how to express it. You sometimes you gotta get in there, go buck wild. See I'm a part-time rapper. See currently I have uh, 17 mixtapes out under the name Ecology. Ecology on the beat. I'm gluten free so I don't do wheat. Let's stop showering so we can conserve water. I ain't showered in weeks. See, growing up in a family of 13 kids, my dad would just have us all take one family shower together for 30 seconds every morning. But, uh, you know, after he passed away, we just decided to adopt his method. You know, me and Curtis, we just take a five-second shower every third Thursday of every month at 8 a.m. Shop. You're uh, probably wondering why it's so dark in here. Well, it's because we never turn the lights on, ever. I mean, people ask us, hey, how much do you guys pay for utilities? Nothing. Utilities pay us. I mean, Roscoe and I, we don't even have jobs. Why don't you at least open the window during the day? I'm uh, <laughs> pretty sure that costs money, Tony. <sighs> How you doing, man? Well, for a guy whose parents died because of global warming, I guess I'm all right. Curtis always finds a way to include that in every conversation. Even though I never mention the fact that my dad died working at the local power plant, he always mentions that. And the fact that he was raised by his two gay interracial grandpas. Any voicemails? No. Okay. We've been leaving voicemails at the Chicago Mayor's office in hopes that we can be included in Mayor Emanuel's Retrofit Chicago campaign. It's a part of many of his efforts to make Chicago more eco-friendly. Hey, it's Curtis. And Roscoe again. We're just calling to see if Mayor Emanuel has been getting any of our calls. We'd love to offer you assistance with our group let us change the world. Or we're gonna break your legs. No, Roscoe. We talked about this. It, it doesn't work like that. Uh, give us a call back. Thank you. He'll call. He'll call. Did you fart? I don't know. <laughs> 